Hey guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video, let's take a look at some of the mega cap tech stocks. We'll take a look at Apple, Microsoft, Google, Meta, Amazon, and also take a look at Oracle and we'll be identifying the important key levels and what we can expect from these price action in coming days and weeks on potentially the direction that these stocks may take. With that, please hit the like and subscribe and let's kick it off with Apple first. So with Apple guys, what are we seeing is definitely Apple made its all time high at $194.50. And after that, it has started to cool off a little bit. It did come all the way to 20 days moving average to test it and is at $187.72. Now, is it bearish or still bullish? Technically, it is still bullish. But what we have to notice is that it has started to form this longer consolidation, right? Um, now, if it breaks below 20 days moving average on the daily interval and also below $187.60, we may expect downside on Apple. And that will first of all bring us to the test of 50 days moving average wherever it will be. And any other break off level like $184.26 or any $182, we'll talk about it at uh, that level, that point. So, but definitely uh, we have an overhead resistance at $191. And let's jump into hourly interval to take a better look at what the price action is telling us at more granular level. And so here we are. We are. Well, we kind of have formed this double bottom at this support level. We will see if this keeps holding, but what in, in immediate term we want to see is if Apple breaks on intraday level this 200 hours moving average, we are definitely coming down to $187 and 71 cents. Um, however, if it keeps pushing up, when the market opens say like tomorrow watch $191.71 and $192.50 for a potential I feel like this may act as a resistance but if Apple is really strong it may break this out maybe test all-time high again but I, I think we have a huge resistance at $191 to $192.55 and uh, definitely, I think we will test $187 soon again to the downside and also again guys because the way this consolidation is happening, it is getting tighter and the the movement is very choppy right now. While QQQ and this is where QQQ and SPY are important, where QQQ and SPY have been uh, going a little bit higher in their you know magnitude compared to these, this Apple stock at least. Now, I know I covered QQQ and SPY in my one of the previous videos on Tesla that I did. Definitely check that out, guys. On weekends, I usually cover QQQ and SPY with you know my other videos as well. So for this video, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but just to show you the reference here is that you can see QQQ you know, uh, is on a stronger momentum. You know, and similarly with the SPY, it's the you know, same case that it's at least last few days has been on a stronger momentum to the upside. However, if you see Apple right over here, Apple lately hasn't been in that strong momentum, so it's consolidating. So this, this means that money is moving into other sectors of QQQ and SPY market, right? So this was with Apple, guys. Um, I know, you know, I would want to be leaning on the downside but you know definitely the downside may happen if once this break 20 days moving average and the level of 187 dollars and 72 cents okay watch for that let's go to the microsoft and now with microsoft guys um what do we have we have the all-time high test again at 349 dollars and it is doing a double test of it. Now, it is very choppy to even say that it's, it is bearish. It is not bearish. However, this candle that is forming is definitely a second test at a you know really critical level. And I suspect that at least for tomorrow, we will be pulling back to this 20 days moving average at least and to the level of 338 
for the immediate near term however guys if it breaks this 349 and 65 cents on a stronger volume well that is something to see um, because that may really push it through the roof uh, we do have earnings coming as well soon enough so 25th of july uh, the week after the next so watch out for earnings earnings will play a very critical lot role guys in all these mega cap stocks this year definitely um because uh, most of these things have been running on ai hype so if any downside will come is if they miss earnings right so keep an eye on that let's go to google so google um guys it found this support at 116 dollars the one that i was talking about if it breaks we can head down to 109 dollars it did break but then it was bought back up so definitely in that case your stop loss would have been acted upon and this thing is rocketing like um you know it is testing again this recent all-time high at 126 dollars and 47 cents if this breaks this level the next level guys we can potentially test is around the level of yeah this one um dollars and 45 cents let me mark this um something to watch out for guys i wonder if 126 dollars and 41 cents does you know uh breaks if it does breaks out of it then only otherwise let's see what we can be doing with the stock here let me go to the hourly interval all right yeah so if it breaks 126 dollars guys definitely can go still high up we do have a support at 123 but if this support breaks we are heading down to at least this 50 hours moving average the purple line or even also 122 dollars and 18 cents so definitely watch out for this all right so right it's it's a both side play on on google i would say it is looking strong at least for now even the way the how it closed it seems like it's gonna go up but definitely keep an eye on this 20 hours moving average if this breaks then you gotta get a lot cautious and careful okay let's take a look at meta let's go to the daily level guys and meta has been rocking the boat guys this thing is like nvidia has been unstoppable um so here we are with this now here's the thing their earnings are coming and same thing guys just like any other stock um yeah a lot will determine what would happen through the earnings actually guys um yeah watch out for this one as well now meta i'm not saying it's becoming bearish but for short term it might be cooling off and come back to this 20 days moving average at least um so tomorrow play could be very well trading it down all the way to 300 dollars and if that level breaks it's testing the 20 days moving average or very close to it it may test it let's take a look at hourly interval just because guys it's a little bit overextended from the 200 sorry 20 hours sorry guys 20 days moving average um again like 300 dollars watch for it i think like it might cool off down to 300 dollars level and maybe also to 295 dollars or wherever this 200 hours moving average would be by then the red line so this is what my take on meta is guys let's take a look at amazon and let's go to the daily level and what are we seeing guys okay so amazon did this gap up um so this was the level we talked about i know i did not cover amazon in last two videos um and so 131 dollars where we were talking about if this breakout happens um you know it will go up but if it's you know break 20 days moving average and also the level of 127 we will see downside uh it kind of did but was you know bought back up and that's why you know we have stop losses as well but now what do we do with this um you know let's see their earnings when it is it is also coming soon right 27th of july all right so with the amazon guys this 20 days moving average the yellow line may come in play for just for the stock to cool off um i doubt though that it will break 130 dollars i think this is where it will find support and this will where be the 20 days moving average would be 
again earnings play right if earnings really guys did not satisfy in big hedge funds you know stock can do anything earn it's really hard to play f with the earnings and technicals you know earnings determine it happens in post market or pre-market and that's how the game is played right because there are no um, circuit breakers there is you know less volume and high bid and ask price and things just rockets on just you know if anyone want to manipulate market i mean that's why we well i'm not saying you know earnings are manipulation but there's a reason they are done in pre and post market so that big players can move around the money the way they want right so all right um <laughs> let's take a look at hourly interval on amazon guys and you know now let's identify what's happening just like every other stock guys you know being quite extended you can see that it tested that resistance level at 136 dollars 50 cents has been cooling off which is I, i'm not gonna say it's bearish because it was running up guys for two days already and the rsi if you notice was already overbought and red so there was little to no chance for it to keep going up it has to cool off and it has cooled off at 20 hours moving average this cool off usually is met by a little bit more sell-off at least to test this 50 hours moving average um again but i still feel there's a good support at 131 dollars but earnings can change it based on how they come i expect on Amazon, a little bit of maybe downside if it finds support at 50 hours moving average, then that would be the support. But uh, take a look at how it behaves in pre market as well. That will give you also a sense if it stays above 20 hours moving average, it may very well go up to $136 and double test this as well. So, again, have your stop losses regardless which direction you choose on you know, the stocks. But you will have to pick the direction once they you know either start weakening below this moving average or start getting stronger above this moving average and then you have these levels to you know uh, cut your entry out in profit and then definitely have your stop loss if the direction is you know on the other side that you took right all right now the final stock for this video is guys oracle now oracle is let me go to the daily level first so oracle you know has been benefited by an ai play as well and what are we seeing with this thing so all right this thing i was more talking about like 110 dollars may come into play um it is getting about this 20 days moving average we do have a support at 117 dollars and it, it that's the thing right people who would have gone short expecting the gap will fill and that's why i don't fully believe in gap theories because it's a self-fulfilling prophecy guys um if stock price make its way there then the gap will fill you can see there's a gap here at you know 69 dollars and 96 cents to 70 dollars and 52 cents well you know will this gap fill who knows if the stock price ever come down here sure there's a fulfilling prophecy that yeah a gap fill always happens that's why stock price is here guys that's not it's just self-fulfilling prophecy all right i mean at least in my opinion um so what are we seeing with oracle um as i said there's a good momentum and a good support at 117 dollars now their earnings are a little bit later so it's not gonna be you know uh, very much fluctuated by that other you know stocks how they behave on ai earnings that may affect it a little, little bit but let's take a look on hourly interval for this specific we want to see at hourly interval to get the more idea of what the price action is telling us so this is a great consolidation guys this 113 dollars level this cup you are seeing at the bottom this is a really good consolidation so this range kind of becomes guys really strong support 116 dollars to 117 dollars a very good support level now what are we seeing is guys even if it comes below 200 and 260 116 dollars i feel like this support will still hold but if it breaks 113 dollars then 109 dollars will come so but yeah that's my hunch on this one just looking at the price action it's very choppy right now it's not st too strong not too weak we do have a resistance at 120 dollars 
if guys th this level 120 is a multi-day now i should mark it blue if this level fails then when i say fails if you think see that in on intraday it is rejecting this 120 dollars level guys it is definitely coming down to 117 um but if it breaks 120 dollars 123 and 127 can still very well happen so yeah be be watchful on this one as i said there's a really good support at 100 at 117 dollars really good support so this can go either direction from 117 dollars or 120 dollars so keep an eye on these two levels any break on either side will give you the directional play on that one and any rejections of these levels or support at these levels will be a reversal play, all right? So this was with Oracle, guys. All right, this was it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and valuable. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe. With that, I'll see you in my next video. Take care.